All right, fam. Let's see what we got going on for the soulmate investigation rates. All right. So I'm already. I, I typically I pull these cards first, but I just kind of do them in the flow that I feel like going in. First, I'm feeling more of the tarot first. So. All right. So first, in the mind plane, we have the hermit and the six of wands. The mind plane gives us um, indication of what both parties are thinking in this relationship. Well, not really what they're thinking, but what their mindset is going into the relationship. Okay, so six of wands, three of wands for this person, uh, the emperor, and this is the spiritual plane, kind of gives us a bit of background as to why everyone's sneaking or betraying themselves the way they betray themselves, because this is the middle portion here. This here, these two cards, the cards on the second, in the very middle, uh, they indicate, like, what everybody is showing of themselves, like how you pre present yourself in the, re in the uh, relationship. All right, and this is the card that tells us how what brought you to to uh, what brought you two together, and this is the challenge that you both faced. Face, okay? Damn, it was chaotic. That's what it was. A lot of turmoil, a lot of inner turmoil, um, or a lot of turmoil. Period. Back and forth, arguments, competition. But now it's trying to now the challenge is getting to a place of peace, serenity, you know, calmness, because of the ten of pentacles being that it's not necessarily a lot going on. It's just like you know, you you have a legacy here. Things are stable, but what brought you two together was the conflict, was the back and forth, was the constant challenge. I think there was a bit of competition between you guys. Healthy competition. I don't think it was unhealthy, but now it's like finding a way to stabilize and kind of have more peace together. It's really interesting. All right, so let's take a look at your romance angels. Honeymoon. See, peace. Peace is what the answer is. Okay. So, family. Let's get into it. So, honeymoon. It's uh, enjoy this bliss. Enjoy, enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. This is talking about taking some time away, enjoying your time together. And I think it's been kind of con, you know, conf, you know, there's a lot of confrontation in the relationship, but there's a lot of confrontation in your lives. So it's been real. It's been a trip, right? It's been a trip. So now it's about you know getting to a, um, a stable place, being comfortable, you know. Feeling the support of others, uh, feeling your, the support from your per, you know, your, your person mostly. <sighs> Let's see why is like this is like really crooked, guys. It's bugging me. <sighs> okay, so that should be a little better. Okay, but yeah. So going into the mental area of this, right? Uh, it, it, actually, it makes sense. If you guys have had, been having a lot of arguing, a lot of conversation, a lot of things being a challenge in your love life, it makes sense because if you look at your underlying energy, you have the three of pentacles, which talks about working together, teamwork, you know, in that, in that sense. Underneath that is the king of pentacles. Interesting. Now, the king of pentacles is somebody that's reliable, someone that, that you can trust, someone that's a provider, that, you know, someone that, um, some of that, you know, that is generous with what they give because they have plenty to give. They have more than enough. They're always making or doing things to expand themselves or doing things to be able to support the people that they love. So I think this is really just kind of just stabilize. I think everyone wants to just stabilize and kind of just be still. Well, not be still, but just kind of be okay, you know, just be in a good environment or be in a healthy standpoint in the relationship. You know, like the Ten of Pentacles would show, and like start building legacies, start like putting down roots, really just enjoying the connection and what it's what abundance it brings. And of course, it's going to take time to work together, figure out each other's weaknesses and strengths. That's what the Three of Pentacles to me works, you know, talks about figuring out a plan of execution, e executing that plan out. Okay, of course, right? Trying to see what the future has to offer with you guys constantly going at each other's necks. Right, um, and it, it can be that way. It, it could be that the external energies or the, outs, the energy outside of your relationship is affecting your relationship in some way because somebody's bringing the mess home, right? But that's just me, right? Um, but the mindset of each party in this, in regards to the reading here, we have the Hermit and the Six of Wands. Pick the side that resonates with you, the other side will be your soulmate, okay? Um, how I read it, you know, and 
personally, it, it'll have you guys have a designated side. But feel, since it's a YouTube reading, feel free to pick the sides here. You know, pick either side that resonates with you. Now, starting off with this person here, the way they're coming into this relationship is they have, they have the Hermit. I don't know if they're necessarily really in it right now. I think they're kind of doing a lot of reflecting, figuring out what they want, figuring out what they need to kind of continue to push forward. Because a hermit is a very healing energy and it talks about stay, taking a step away from a situation and really looking within the self to find the answers that they need. Whether it's uncertainty, lack of confidence, or even past pains and wounds, this, you know, the hermit goes in and heals those energies. It heals those parts of themselves rather. Not really energies because, you know, that's, you know, you have history. So whatever your history is, whatever you're going in to do, that's what's going on here. You're healing that. You're taking time to really reflect and see how far you've come, how far you've grown. And the hermit, for me, does talk about somebody that's honestly not really thinking of the relationship in the terms of the other person. They're thinking about the relationship for themselves. So when they're going into it, they're very reflective. They're really thinking about what they want, how much they, you know, how much they put into the relationship, what they're getting out of it, you know, what they, what do they want to get out of it continuously, you know, things like that. Now the other person seen is, um, with mindset going into the relationship is the six of wands. I like that. And the reason being is because this person is very proud of the actions that they put in, proud of the work that they put in. They're very, they're feeling good about the work that they they've been putting into the relationship here. Um, I feel like that at the same time though, this person may want a little bit more attention though. I think they know that they've been doing some good stuff. They know they've been putting in effort to the towards the relationship. They know that they've been doing their due diligence, but I think that they want more attention because this person's not paying attention here. The, 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 the hermit would not be paying attention to someone else. It's all reflective. It's all internal. It's all about that person themselves. And I think this person wants a little bit more attention from the other person. Because if you see here in the present, right, how they're presenting themselves is someone that's always waiting. Someone that's waiting. That's Continue to do the work, doing the best that they can, right? But, you know, they're still waiting on the return. They're still waiting on something to come back to them. They're still waiting on the results to reflect their actions, right? They're waiting and expecting some sort of return. And I think this person is really stubborn about giving that to them because right now they're looking at what they need. They're looking at what they want, looking at what they, you know, what they need for themselves, right? Because this is about reflection healing things like that it's very healing energy the hermit so the emperor may be very stubborn in regards to what his attention about how he did you know, you know diverse um, or um diverts his attention to things if that makes sense like he doesn't he's not trying to not he's not trying to be rude i don't think this person here is trying to be rude he or she remember these it could be whoever but the emperor he is um very stickler on the way he does things He's very powerful. He knows his he knows his power, um, but he can be quite ag quite aggressive, very um, a a busy. But he's also very stubborn. Okay, that's what the card indicates, right? The stubbornness. So this person is probably being very stubborn right now, and the and because they're trying to figure out what they want, trying to figure out things. And trying to well try to figure out what they need to understand about themselves if that makes sense right they're not thinking about the other person they're thinking about what they're getting out of the situation at this moment which is not a bad thing but at the same time it, this may be making this person you know i mean i honestly i don't think this person is too bothered by it because this person's coming from a place of love they want to receive something but their patience is obviously diverged, diverted elsewhere they're doing other things to help benefit the relationship they're doing other things to help benefit themselves i think hopefully but because they're proud of their actions and that's good enough for them until obviously they, you know, they patiently wait for whatever's coming in. But the reason why they're so patiently waiting and the reason why they, they have the six of wands in their, in the mind plane for them is the queen, the king of cups. So love, knowing what they want, wanting to express that love perhaps because there's a lot of wands energy. Wands energy to me is more action oriented. It's not, you know, I feel like this person is in love, wants to express that love. Maybe they're bottling, they may have bottled up a lot of love at one point and now they want to express that. They want to be, you know, you know, they want to let, let their emotions flow. But most importantly, I feel like this person is deeply in love. The King of Cups is someone that's deeply in love. Okay. And again, like I said, knows what they want. Um, very good at, you know, at manifesting so this person is whatever whatever they're doing here they're manifesting they're putting the work towards you know whatever they want for the relationship or whatever they want the relationship to be they're making it happen and their energy is in a good space here with the king of cups 
Okay, I feel like they do want more attention, but they're they're coming from a loving and compassionate place. So they're not forcing it, they're not pushing it. They're they honestly I think they respect the space. Even though this person is being very stubborn because of or, you know, kind of cock blocking it at the moment because they have things that they have to work on, you know? They have the eight of pentacles here as a reason why they have shown up with the emperor in the the hermit and it could be that the progress that they're making they're really working hard and changing their own structure changing their own cells right they're trying to work they work hard on you know improving themselves to the best of their ability they're focused on themselves they're kind of they're, they're tunnel visioning themselves they're tunnel visioning the, the progress that it's going to take to build that you know what i'm saying um and it's i guess i mean because like i said there's nothing i don't feel like there's anything wrong with this because this person obviously wants to be better for themselves. They want to feel more in their power. They want to feel stronger. I feel like this person is definitely rocking divine masculine energy, though. So, you know, again, this could be an Aries that you're dealing with, a Virgo. But I kind of feel like this person really wants to be, feel confident in themselves and know that they can execute the things that they can execute without doubts. And I think that's why they're so focused on their own thing. They're not really thinking about anybody else but themselves at this moment. It's because they're trying to improve themselves. It's not because they're trying to be rude or trying to keep themselves away from people. They're working on themselves. The Eight of Pentacles talks about working on themselves, hard work. Because the challenge is trying to get to a place of stability. Uh, get to a, a place where you guys can, you know, lavish on the abundance and be good with one another, right? Be happy. Um, but it's going to take time. The Five of Wands does talk about changes and behavioral changes. So there's a lot of things that this is, go you know, the, there's a lot of things that are changing here. And the Three of Pentacles are talking about that, you know, of course, planning for the future, you know, working together as a team is definitely a part of it. I think everybody individually needs to know where they are first before they can come together and work together, if that makes sense. So let's go ahead and take a look at the wisdom of the or whispers of love, rather. Whispers of love, not wisdom of the oracle. Let's see what, what the uh, whispers of love has to say for this week here. Ah, get to know each other. Learn to meet each other's needs for love is important for a relationship to grow. Yeah, the three pentacles. Figuring out what your strengths and weaknesses are and figuring out how you guys can utilize all of those aspects about yourselves to work together. But I think this person's trying to figure out how to do it themselves when they don't need to. That's another thing too. I think this person's figuring out that, you know, or trying to figure out how to do it alone. We're figuring out what they need to handle this stuff alone and they can do it but like but it's a relationship a relationship is not meant to be a solo mission it never was a relationship is about working together as a team and i think that's the challenge right everybody's egos are flared up everybody's you know either e i think this is only just one person that wants their way or the highway but they may have to just be okay with working with somebody and compromising a little bit but I think most importantly, though, I think that the turmoil may be that there is a lot of changes that's happening. There's a lot of things that they're going to have to adjust to. But ultimately, everybody has their own setup, their own personalities, their own, you know, stuff that they go through every day. And with the three of pentacles coming up as underlying energy if it, and the king of pentacles coming up underneath, I think there's a routine that's going to be needed here. Um, to kind of develop a stable relationship, a stable household, a stable, um, um, you know, a bond between you and this individual. And how you do that is by taking, you know, not taking care of each other, but getting to know each other, knowing each other's depths. I feel like this person's definitely, I feel like this person's waiting for something to come in. But I feel like, I mean, what, uh, this could be that this person is wanting more attention or this person could be like really happy with the, uh, I feel like this is both, right? They want more attention, but they also are happy with the work that they've been putting in. And I feel like they're waiting for something to come in too from the work that they've been putting in. Maybe it could be that they're trying to get to know the person and they're, you know, they're trying to, you know, grow something huge with this person because after this is the four of four of wands and that's a stable stable relationship that's moving in a higher place of commitment for you guys but i feel like this person's waiting for something it could be that this person's waiting for them to get back with them you know again like this person is totally isolated at this moment and i think this person's waiting for this person to either return person to hear back for them period 
or they're wanting to get to know this person. But I feel like this person, def, you know, everybody needs to learn how to work together here. And I think that's what some of you guys are doing because there's a lot of conflict. And the way to get to a stable beginning or stable, excuse me, not a beginning. I don't know why I want to say beginning so much. But the way to get to the Ten of Pentacles is by focusing, not focusing on each other, but but by knowing you know, each other thoroughly.